Hi guys! I'm sorry if it's super echoey in here. As you can see, I am sitting in an almost empty house. So we moved on the weekend. And oh my gosh, guys, this move has kicked my butt. Like just emotionally, physically, mentally. The logistics for this move have been really complex and nothing's quite run as smoothly as I would have liked but we are nearing the end and I am here to say goodbye to this house and clean it one last time before I hand the keys back and so I thought I would take you with me today as I clean this house and say goodbye it holds so many beautiful memories for us because this is where we started our channel but we are so excited to show you our new home. It's so different to what we have here. Like just the layout, the way we do life is gonna be quite different. So we're so excited to share that with you. But today, I just thought it would be fun to do one last clean with me. I also have to dismantle a bed and get the fridge ready because um, one of the local charities is coming to pick that stuff up so that they can sell it. And so I just need to have that ready. And then I have to clean this place so that it's ready for its new, new people to come and make it home. So let's do it. So this is what our room looked like after we had moved almost everything out. Because we were spending a couple of extra days in town before we left, we still had some things floating around. I call this stuff the snot of moving. You know, those little odds and ends that you needed either at the last minute or that got missed in the packing. So today I'm going to clean up the snot and disassemble this bed. This bed is from Ikea. Do not buy it. It is a toe killer and it is awful. Hence why I'm gonna let it go to someone else who maybe doesn't use it every day like I had to. But I'm so excited to get a new bed at our new house, but we are going to donate this one and it was even painful to dismantle. We are actually donating our fridge and our microwave as well. I really have been needing a bigger fridge and this one was just an interim one. So we have decided rather than move it, we would get a new fridge for our new home and also a new microwave because in our new house, the microwave hole is very low. So we needed something that had a child lock. So I'm just making sure all of those appliances are wiped down and doing one last load through the dishwasher of all those little cups and plates that had been hanging around and while I'm doing that I'm just trying to clean as much as possible I don't like to pack anything that's not clean because I just want everything to be as easy as possible to unpack in the new house I'm holding on if almost 
So I had this little box of sort of miscellaneous items where I'd been putting things while we were moving and so now I'm just going through that. A lot of it could go straight in the trash and the rest of it is ready to come to the new house. One of the things I had been doing while I was packing was making sure that after I packed, I wiped out all of the cupboards so that when we got to the cleaning at the end, it would be a lot quicker. So I am just packing up the last few things because I've already wiped out all the cupboards. And then I'm gonna get to deep cleaning all of the benches and the kitchen sink and the stove top just to make sure they are all up to real estate standard and everything is super clean So I get lots of questions about how I clean my oven and the truth is I actually hate scrubbing my oven so I make sure that I wipe it out after every single time that I use it and I also I know this is weird but I also vacuum the bottom so that any crumbs don't get all charcoal-y so now I am just wiping it out one last time. So after we moved our washing machine, what was left behind was so gross, but I was so amazed at how good it looked after just one pass with the vacuum. So I'm just quickly vacuuming this area as well as the dust filter from the dryer 
and then I'm going to wipe it all down so it is super clean under there, but it was disgusting. Some gates never get to open cause it's too late I could be the one who saves you from this place Baby, they ain't never gonna find me, find me, find me in the interest of real life, I will tell you that I cleaned this apartment for one and a half days and they still made me go back. So I literally went around every wall, every mirror and cleaned it and then they got me to come back to remove dust from the wardrobe rods. But I cleaned every window and it was a great way to say goodbye to this lovely apartment. you guys enjoyed this video if you're new here we would absolutely love to have you subscribe and join our community here are some other videos we think you might like and if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up it just lets me know that you'd like more videos like that and I'll catch you guys in the next one